Hey everyone, I'm Aria and welcome or welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. So today I am building in Forgotten Hollow. I feel like I only ever come to this world around Halloween. It only has five lots and they're not really, to me they're not big enough. <laughs> um, they're probably like average size to most people but I tend to build on quite big lots so these little lots they're just not quite big enough for me and to be honest this one again wasn't really big enough for this particular build but I made it work <laughs> so I was looking through my Pinterest board at different inspirations that I had for um, like a spooky build and I came across this picture here which is of I guess it's like a greenhouse or maybe like a garden center or a shop or something and I thought the idea of it was really cool and there is a I think it's called the poison garden I'm pretty sure it's in London um that holds all of like the most poisonous most toxic plants and I don't know why but I really want to go and visit <laughs> I don't know when I will next um, be able to visit the UK but it's something that I would very much like to go and see and I thought it would be interesting to recreate in The Sims 4 since we have a couple of plants that we got with um, Outdoor Retreat that are like the toxic variety or the poisonous variety of some of the herbs and then we also have some um, like occult plants um, that came with Realm of Magic and then there's like the alien plants that I thought were just really cool and otherwise don't very often use. So I thought they would be interesting to include in this too. I'm not really sure what type of lot I'm going to set this as to upload. Um, I'm thinking a park but I'm sure there's objects that I have to include for that to function that I don't really want to include so I will try and figure it out otherwise it will probably just end up as a generic lot and then you can set the lot type to whatever you wish. So I wanted to create something a little bit different to the inspiration picture and I thought this sort of idea would probably be best suited to like a Victorian kind of style. I don't know why and I'm sure I'm not the only person but I feel like older kind of spooky builds tend to be Victorian in style. <laughs> I don't know why that's just kind of how I feel. So that's kind of what I was going for with this one sort of a gothic Victorian kind of greenhouse I did have a look on Pinterest and on Google images but couldn't really find anything that I thought was a good kind of image to go off of so this one is mostly off of my own kind of imagination I found a couple of pictures um, that kind of had this very similar shape in the middle um, but they're all very much like a lighter color like white or like um i don't know whether it's i don't know like plastic <laughs> it looks like plastic to me but i'm sure it's not it's probably metal um but most of them are white and i really wanted to create something that was a little bit darker given the theme and the time of year and so i thought doing it all in like this black metal was pretty cool so i'm really pleased with how it turned out I do add quite a lot of decoration to this, mostly using um, the Get Together and Strangerville, I think they're roof decorations, these pieces and the little spikes that I've added to the dome. I saw somebody on Twitter had done this with another build, I don't remember who it was, if I can find them then I will um, credit them in the description. But just know that it wasn't my original idea <laughs> I've taken inspiration from somebody else but I thought it was really cool and it added some nice detail to this roofing which I think is is really lovely too I think it's base game actually this like glass roof but I think it's really nice to be honest I don't very often use this one because it kind of makes my eyes a bit blurry <laughs> I don't know why I think it's just because there's so much detail and when I look at it it's kind of just a little bit 
maybe too detail heavy so I tend to just go with like the square one <laughs> um, but this one I thought was really good for this kind of style it's very ornate and just very pretty I do kind of wish that the swatches came in a darker color this one's kind of silvery and then the other ones I don't know the colors just aren't what I would imagine for like a, a metal glass roof if that makes sense but anyway <laughs> so I do add um, quite a lot of like messy landscaping on the outside near the end I didn't really know what I wanted to include on the outside I hadn't really thought about it too much I would kind of considered what I was going to put on the inside and that I kind of had a plan for but then when it came to the outside I was a bit I don't know stuck <laughs> I didn't really have that much space like I said before this lot for me is a little bit on the smaller side um, but I didn't feel like I could build it on um, the bigger one I think it's a 40 by 30 um, Vlad's mansion I didn't really feel like I could build it up there because it kind of I feel like that lot only really serves one purpose and that is a big vampire mansion <laughs> which I think I will have a go at building this year I'm not sure when it might come near the end of the month but I would like to give you know a big Victorian mansion um, a go because I think it would be really cool so I'm adding quite a lot of these um, I don't know what they are like water splashes <laughs> from the strangerville pack i really like the way that they kind of show up quite brightly on this um brick which is from i think it's jungle adventure this one it kind of sparkles which i think is really nice i think it's meant to be like a um like a not a tomb wall stone what are they called? I don't know what they're called. In in the jungle. <laughs> those those buildings. It's on those buildings in the jungle. Anyway, it sparkles and I think it looks really nice. <laughs> the flooring is from Jenny to Bo 2. Um, I thought this one kind of looked the most accurate. I tried a couple of different ones. I was gonna go with like a black and white, like checkered tile. Um but I couldn't really find one that I liked the look of and they weren't really the right size that I was looking for so I thought this one was kind of the next best thing. I have used one other item from Jenny Tuber 2 which is like a, a bush I think for outside so if you don't have the pack then it will probably just auto replace with something from the base game. Um, so you probably won't notice it too much unless you know the flooring is like way off <laughs> which I've never actually tried before but I'm sure it will be will be fine so most of the landscaping other than the bushes um are from the vampires pack I tried to kind of make it look like it would fit in the world so I've tried to use some of the landscaping items that we have in the world around this lot um I think these are base game but I only use them on the inside and I just wanted there to be like a, a little border of plants. I remember going to the Botanical Gardens in London. I think it's, it's a key garden or something. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> and they had like a big greenhouse kind of like this. And I also went to the one in um, Vienna in Austria too. And that one is amazing. Um, but inside they kind of had these like big planter spaces they had like the little boxes with different plants in and then they had like these big places and big like planted spaces on the inside and one of them I remember had like a um I think it was like a giant pond <laughs> in the middle of this big greenhouse which I thought was amazing for all of like the different water plants um obviously this build isn't big enough for that which is what I was trying to do earlier I was trying to add like a pool <laughs> in the middle where the fountain is but it just wasn't big enough so I thought just sticking with the um, fountain from the romantic garden stuff was probably the better option it kind of drips out the side which I really liked um, because then adding these kind of water splashes on the floor made a little bit more sense because I thought well it's it's meant to be old it's meant to be you know a little bit run down and these kind of water splashes I think are really good for 
getting that point across <laughs> um, the same with all of the cracks on the walls and the windows that I've added to and I a little bit later board up um, the windows as well so right now I am trying to find some of the plants from um, outdoor retreat I couldn't find them in the menu and I don't know whether I just wasn't looking in the right place but I could only find like a handful of them and I don't know I guess I was just looking in the wrong place I don't know but anyway <laughs> um, I was looking specifically for here for a floor that kind of looked a little bit like this that I'd seen in somebody else's um, like work in progress picture I think on Twitter and I was convinced that it was in the game but apparently it was custom content so this was kind of the next best thing that I could find that wasn't custom content <laughs> um, but I think it looks okay once I kind of finish all of the floor paint up so what I'm doing right now these are packages from the base game in the like lighter swatch I was trying to make like a border for this main path but I, when I was looking at them they just looked a little bit too neat and perfect for this type of build so I just changed the rotation on a few of them in different directions just to make them look a little bit I don't know a little bit more uneven these boards are fencing I believe from the uh, debug menu or the live edit menu they kind of are pretty much perfect for adding as like window boards <laughs> they aren't you know obviously very accurate if you were trying to actually board up a window but I still think they look pretty good so I've tried to add these all over the build without making it look like uh, they're a little bit too you know board heavy <laughs> I still wanted you to be able to see all of the other details that I'd added like the cracks and the watermark so these were kind of just like an additional little bit of, of detail I did think that maybe this place was intentionally made to look abandoned so that like average people wouldn't go in there since you know what's actually in this building is it's kind of on the dangerous side <laughs> there's some um, cow plants that I've put on the top floor too because I thought that they were could be considered potentially dangerous since you know they they can eat your sims <laughs> um the alien plants I just thought that they were you know just a little bit different and could be considered an occult I guess they are because they're alien but <laughs> you know I just wanted it to be like a little bit on the wild side so I thought it would be interesting to include all of the different plants that I hadn't really used much up until this point. So yeah, um, all of these vines are from the vampires pack. I wanted these to also look like they were growing a little bit out of control and just kind of gone a little bit over the top maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like them. One of the pictures that I saw of it was like an inside of the greenhouse. Um, the windows kind of had this really nice like holographic kind of look to them where the light was coming through and reflecting off of the pond in the middle. I couldn't really recreate that very well in this which I, I wish that we could but the only way would be to put those um um, archways from Realm of Magic in like every single window and then I don't know I don't think that would have looked very good <laughs> because then you know they kind of stick out I've tried it before and they just I couldn't get them to work without a lot more detail and I didn't want it to be any more over the top than I'd already done it so I thought from far away the water splashes kind of gave a similar effect so I thought that was that was okay so um what I have done with the landscaping on the left hand side is I've put like a little graveyard um, most of them are I think all of them actually are debug I think there might be one that's from the normal vampires menu and I'm not really sure why but when I tried to upload it to the gallery it was telling me that there's custom content in it so before I upload this I will try and figure out what it is that it's trying to tell me is CC because I own literally like four pieces of build CC so it definitely it definitely doesn't have any in it so I'm not sure what it's trying to tell me is in it it might be the plants that I have downloaded from the gallery 
but they didn't flag a CC when I downloaded them so I will try and figure it out before I upload it so it may um, take a little while <laughs> after this video has gone out before it is available on the gallery but it will be up there eventually and we'll just have some things missing <laughs> so I tried to put those um, like vines up on the front of the building to me they just looked a little bit too bright they were the wrong kind of shade of green so I thought it was best not to include them in the end but to be honest once I've finished all of this landscaping you don't really miss them and like I said I tried to go a little bit wild with it and to be honest I do I do really like it I use mostly I believe vampires I think I said so yeah it all kind of fits in so these are I think mostly debug I think there might be one that's from the normal menu like I said um, because I wanted them all in like that stone swatch that I've used here that's a little bit kind of worn it's got some like nice marks on it that I thought were really cool and I really like using these I don't know what they are like the dirt patches <laughs> from the vampires pack that kind of looks like they're freshly dug graves <laughs> and I just think they give it a little bit more realism I guess I don't know it sounds a bit morbid to say to be honest <laughs> but I just like the idea of it so I thought it would be a good place that if you had a couple of sims that you didn't want like an entire cemetery for then you could obviously come and put your sims gravestones here um, and there's quite a lot of space that you could take some of the landscaping out maybe and extend it throughout the front if you wanted to so here I am adding like a I don't know like a fence I guess I liked the one from cats and dogs because it's really broken in some of the items that we have and then the rest of it um, you can kind of make like a full fence from um, and then I go over the top of it with I think they're also cats and dogs fences but it's meant to be like on the dock I think they're kind of like to me like a beach fence <laughs> um, but I thought they looked really cool because they are also um, a little bit broken in some of the pieces that we have so it kind of to me looks like it matches a little bit um, but I like to go with like things that look a little bit broken <laughs> um, but after we do this I then do more um, terrain painting and that is pretty much it I add a little chessboard out the front because um, like I said I wanted to upload it as a park but I will I, I will revisit that and see what I can upload it as <laughs> but yeah this will be on the gallery eventually the tray files will be on tumblr so I really hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time bye everyone Please don't God forgive me, gotta tell you what I did is kinda evil Could've made a deal with him, but honestly don't need to Tell me, devil, would you give your soul for free? Well then come on, devil, won't you sell your soul to me? Look at this moment in place, I'm doing it for the reactions Someone will laugh in your face, and someone will be paying the taxes, yeah I gotta get back in the pace, I gotta wait for the relaxing, yeah Why you be napping, yeah, pick up my napkin, yeah Look at this moment in place, see that I'm open to taste you can look up at a fake and loving the words that he says See when I'm up in your place, too many up in your place Too many faces, too many places Please don't God forgive me, gotta tell you what I did is kinda evil Could've made a deal with you, but honestly don't need to Tell me, devil, would you give your soul for free? Well then come and devil, won't you sell your soul to me? Playtime's now over, these demons on my shoulder I've been sitting all day long, it's tough when it's gonna take off Take this in the daylight, I want some, so play right I'm dressed well with that halo, these angels they don't know Look at this moment in place, see that I'm open to taste You can look up at a fake, loving the words that he says See when I'm up in your place, too many up in your place Too many faces, too many places Please don't God forgive me, 